Hello there, I'm Esteban from Gohisu Short Studio, and in this video I wanted to show you a new book that I got a couple of days ago, Then it's called Shoro, The Quiet Art of Japanese Zen Calligraphy. And I'm really excited about this book because I ordered this book about a year ago, and I just got it a couple of days ago. So uh, it's been in the world for a long time, and, and I've been waiting for it for uh, that long. Now this book is written by Shoso uh, Sato. And if you don't know who Shoso Sato is, he's a very well-known author uh, in regards to Zen arts. He wrote a book on Ikebana, which is Japanese flower arrangement, and he wrote a book on Sumie as well. So this is his Shoto book, and he, like I said, he is very well-known and he's a very uh, respected author when it comes to Japanese Zen uh, arts. He's also, I believe, a teacher in uh, University of Illinois, and again, He's, he's somebody that when he, in the world of Japanese calligraphy, uh, he uh, is some, someone very respectable. So this book, if we take a look at it, um, it goes, it has a couple sections. But in, in the beginning, it goes through some of the basics of the materials needed for calligraphy. It goes through uh, some of the brushes and what is kanji and things like that. Uh, but it doesn't spend too much time on it because it, it right, right away it goes into the section of the uh, Zen uh, calligraphies. And um, it, the book is divided into different uh, sections and it starts with Zen phrases that are about one kanji all the way to up to four or five kanjis uh, phrases long. So uh, there's a lot of it, there's a lot of it in here. And the way the book uh, goes through it, for example, if we look at some of these uh, calligraphies in the back, in the, for the second section, uh, this, here he shows you uh, pictures of the scent, the scent calligraphies brushed by the actual scent masters. Um, this is not the calligraphy by the author, and this is not the calligraphy by the person who provided the calligraphy for the book, which um, I believe is called Shinya Fujiwara. Um, and so, anyway, so what the, the way the book works is that they show you the paintings or the calligraphy from the Zen masters, and then they go around and they break it down, and then they give you a specific uh, examples on how that calligraphy was is brushed from a block script all the way to a cursive script. And also has some uh, uh, forms on how to write it in pencil or pen with the stroke number and everything so you can follow through. And he goes really in depth about what the calligraphy means and the, his, the story behind it and so on and so forth. So he does that with pretty much every single calligraphy and there's a lot of them in here. Uh, and there's really long ones. For example, this one, it's uh, four kanjis. And if we keep going to towards the end, um, yeah, there's one that has uh, five kanji. So um, it, it does a really good job in taking you all the way from the original calligraphy from the Zen master all, and breaking it down and giving you the detail about each kanji and what it means and how to write it as, as well. So that is, that is what I'm really excited about this book. So um, I really, I, I'm really excited about it. I haven't read it uh, start to finish yet. But I spent some time over at night and um, just looking through some of this calligraphy. Some of the, these phrases I already know. Some of them I don't. They're brand new for me, so that's good too. So the only thing I would probably say about this book is that it's not a book for beginners. So it doesn't really go into detail on how to write kanji from the start or how to do the basic strokes and how to hold the brush and, you know, that kind of stuff. It doesn't really spend too much pages in that. It basically gives you an overview and then it goes right into the same phrases and how to brush those uh, uh, calligraphy. So it's sort of the book uh, almost assumes that you have some sort of knowledge into, in basic Japanese calligraphy or it's basic for someone who just is interested in Zen arts and just wants to use the books at appreciation and maybe some intellectual uh, knowledge about it. But um, it's not a how-to book as, as much as, a, as like a beginner book. So if you are uh, a beginner, I would still recommend you to get it because it's a great book and a great reference, but you would probably need something else uh, before you try to brush some of these calligraphies, in my opinion. So, um, so that's it. That's all I have to say about this book. Um, I'm going to put the link down below so you can get it on Amazon if you're interested. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you uh, like to 
uh, see other videos about Japanese calligraphy. I have a couple of other things coming down the pipe. And also, don't forget to check out the website, gohisushortestudio.com. There, I have tons of resources for beginners. If you are a beginner uh, student that wants to learn Japanese calligraphy, there's a lot of resources in there um, and tutorials and how-tos and things of that nature. So, um, that's it for this one. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Thank you.